So we are back on the beloved sofa. Do you reckon it's had much love making in the last year? It just had, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, 2017, this is a recap. So I'm gonna let you start, Max. Mm. Throw the first question right, at me. All right. Um, last year on the sofa, you said you're looking forward to next season. Are you more or less optimistic about the 2018 season than you were about the 2017 season? I'm just going to keep my level of optimism just at a, yeah, at a, I don't know, like I, yeah, it's easier to kind of, if you've got something good, it's easier to run with it, but if you expect too much of something, then you get more disappointed, so I'm just kind of like, I do believe we'll be pretty good next year, but uh, let's take it easy, yeah. let's just take baby steps. What are your thoughts on the RB13 now at the end of the season compared to your expectations at the beginning of the year? I hate expectations. I hate that word yeah. so much. Um, look, start of the year, we expected, I think both of us expected to be better than where we finished in the championship, let's say. But uh, I think after like Melbourne and the first couple races, did I think I'll personally score my most ever podiums in a season? No. So... Before the season started, I expected more. Once the season started, it actually gave us more than we expected. You know, yeah. you got two wins. Yeah. I got podiums and whatever. And in and the end, win. it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Well done, Baku. Well done. <laughs> lovely, lovely. All righty. Um, I'm going to start throwing some questions. And there's a question in a question. What question did you get asked the most this year? Um, I would say up until I signed a new contract, I guess, about the contract. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was just like where I was going to go, especially with all the problems I had in the beginning of the year with the reliability issues. Uh, yeah, they kept asking those kind of things, what I would do. and uh, Yeah, and you basically, I, from what I understand, you went up to Helmut and Christian and just said, guys, I'm leaving unless you give me 10 figures. And Yes. You got, no, 10, sorry, nine figures. Not 10. Oh, you got 10. <laughs> wow. wow. No, okay. anyway. Um, and that, that's, so it's good? We got there at the end. <laughs> At the beginning of the season, you describe yourself as a positive, driven, happy. What am I now? You, you describe yourself as positive, driven, happy. Would you change that now? I'm heavily depressed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I should joke. Uh, no, I, I'm still the same. I think for sure the season tested. It tests everyone. You know, even Lewis. Lewis ended up the champion and, and he got tested a few times. So... Uh, but yeah, there were times where for sure frustration creeps in and, um, you know, I think it'll stay like that for as long as we race or as long as I race from, from my experiences that you'll always find a point where you have a love hate with the sport because, uh, there's so many other variables and, yeah. but I think then the success when you get it makes it so much more worthwhile because it's, uh, so many things had to happen that day to be perfect and, uh, also seeing all the mechanics and all the engineers face as well. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to bounce this one to you now. At the beginning of the year, you described yourself in these three words. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> um, calm, relaxed, focused. <laughs> calm and relaxed. Focused, all right. Calm and relaxed, really? Calm. You said that? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, did you I, change that? I did change that a bit during this. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I mean... I had all the ingredients, I guess, in front of me to be not relaxed or calm at that time. In the beginning, especially, I think, in the beginning of the season, I think towards the end of the season, everything started to, to be a bit better for me and, uh, let's say, less failures. And uh, I think that... You passed them on to me. <laughs> <laughs> actually swapped cars. Yeah. Very secretly. No, well... You're kidding me. Maybe. I can't do this interview anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go see the boss. Hey. Ah, oh, I'll let you continue. Yeah, it's been uh, also for me quite a challenging season in that way to see how calm or, you know, how, how I would react to those kind of like things during the season. And um, I always find three, well, focused for sure still, relaxed, yes, calm, I would maybe skip that one and um, change it for something which is not as calm as calm. <laughs> I don't know. Re rest restless? No, I, I'm, I, I sleep well. Okay. I sleep well. Cool. Well, 
So I still don't find, I didn't find the word yet, but I might come up for next year. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. You've had a few interesting battles with Seb and Kimmy this year. Do you think that you're on their Christmas card list? Well, I received one from Seb last year. So, did so I. I, I'm expecting one this year. Do you do with it like... Oh, no. I, I, I mean, maybe call us, call us lazy or un thoughtful but sending christmas cards to other drivers seems a bit yeah i don't know i'd rather do other things with my time <laughs> <laughs> it's nice it's a nice gesture i think maybe at one point maybe when you're over your 30s yeah uh yeah i'm getting there so two three I'm years getting there. Yeah. <laughs> i'm expecting one then actually how's your relationship with kimmy because all these years i've done f1 I, i've still had very little interaction with him yeah which relationship okay Exactly. Well, I don't think I ever had uh, a conversation with him. Yeah. Well, on the podium or whatever, like um, when you are there in front of the press. But Bwah. Bwah, uh, Bwah. I don't really care. Bwah. I do what I want. Uh, Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. People that know him say that he's actually completely different away, like when he's in his own space and environment. But uh, yeah, he, he keeps to himself a lot. Bwah. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fire away. All right, next one. If you could learn a new skill overnight, what would it be? A new skill? Yeah. Um, probably race car driver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've always wanted to race cars. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've got, I got here with luck. <laughs> luck and instinct all these mm. years. Um, there's a few things I'd like to do. I'd love to be able to ride a dirt bike better like ride one like a professional and more jump like i've always been interested in jumps um and just that feeling of having control in the air and you know flying through the air and not being freaked out you know so uh just balancing yourself yeah that would be yeah i don't know being weightless for a few seconds so yeah probably riding a dirt bike we can go to road. nasa i could go back to nasa yeah but yeah. that's bike. a bit harder though jumping yeah. on a dirt bike's easier than saying oh, i'm just going to go to space today mm. Mm. True, that's true. Interesting. Yeah. How about you? Um, overnight skill. Better FIFA player. Really? So even better, like on the controls and tricks and, and stuff. Oh, wow. I'm such a child. The age, age difference <laughs> is really settling in. All right, here's one. How often, <laughs> maybe your, your gamer fans want to know, how often do you spend on FIFA? How often? Yeah, it depends. Like, depends when there are packs if, coming. All right. If, if, you're home, if you're home for seven days, say in Monaco, what are you doing? How often are you on FIFA? How many hours a oh, day? Let's put no, it like no, no. that. Almost every day. It depends, of course, who is there with me. Okay. Uh, if it's only What's the longest you'll play for in a day? In a day, it can be four or five hours. Okay. At once or in sessions? In sessions, because sometimes you get frustrated when you lose a few games. So you like... How many controllers break. have you broken? I've, I've thrown one off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had. I thought I had something. All right. <laughs> Actually, no, you're, you're lower than me now. Bigger well, apartment below. I can throw it up. Yeah, can can throw it up. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How did, how did you feel at the uh, US Grand Prix when you were handed the five second penalty, awarding third place to moi? There was a lot of support for you from the fans and media. Do you feel that validated the move you made on moi? Uh, to be honest, Let's you know, call him Bois from Bois, on. yeah, Bois. Bois. To be honest, that was also my uh, reaction. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, of course, initially you're like, you know, why? And you know, I think it was still a, it was a great move. Of course, when you look at the rules, it was not correct. But a lot of things were not going that well the, the whole weekend. You know, people going off track um, and not getting a penalty. But we always look at the positives. I guess it was still a fun race and. Everybody enjoyed it, I guess, to still have excitement up until the last lap. So, yeah, always good to have a podium with Ford, you know, coming from, what was it, 16? It was still, yeah. was still all right. But it was not as painful as may, maybe a lot of people thought it was. So, yeah, I was all right with that. Okay. If, I guess this passes me on to the next question. If that move was legal, let's say, if, if you kept the podium, would that have been your best move of the year? Yeah. Because I didn't, really, I didn't really have a lot of other moves during the year. Because yeah. with those cars, it's only like all really overtaking on the straight or... Yeah, it, it didn't feel as rewarding. I don't know why compared as to last year. Yeah. 
I hear you. So, yeah. Um, Christian has said many times that he believes we are the best driver pairing on the grid. What do you think about that? We have to keep our value high, so of course we are. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it. Um, but I also think we've, we've shown it, you know, we've proved it, like, especially since we've been teammates the last two years, who's the two drivers that are making the most aggressive moves on the track, the most kind of exciting races, coming through the pack the quickest. I know it, I, we're really, it sounds kind of arrogant, but uh, it's nine Look times out facts. of ten, it's us. You know what I mean? Like overtakes of the year or the highlights of the race. Um, so I, I really believe it. I really believe um, we are. So, yeah. Of course, it's always nice to have a team boss thinking the same way. So. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's cool. Like, we, we obviously get the respect. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got to keep that, obviously, now. But that's motivation, like, to the fact that we are regarded maybe as that the best pair up. It's, like, motivation to kind of keep it and kind of Absolutely. keep raising the bar. So do you feel the same way? Yeah. After your explanation, I'm uh, satisfied with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spoke all the arrogance for both of us. <laughs> all righty. I guess you're, you're up. Yeah. Go okay, for it. Okay, next one. So... When you look at your trophies, do you have a favorite one? <laughs> um, I, I, actually, I always liked the Japan ones. I, it was my first one. I like the kind of Japanese flowers. I think that's a nice little detail. So, um, yeah, that's one I've seen over the years, which I've, I've wanted. So I finally so that's got that. Second and third, and they're the same height or what? Hmm. They're exactly the same or not? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's actually why I let you get second that Ah, uh, yeah, because it doesn't no make difference. a difference, right? Yeah. yeah. So I was so like... Just let me work hard for it for nothing. <laughs> yeah. And I knew you were closing in on Lewis, but I was like, he's not going to pass him anyway, so I'm just yeah. going to save my engine. And it worked for me. I mean, how many <laughs> times did I finish the last few races? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Emotional. <laughs> Okay. All righty. Should we? Uh, do you have a favorite trophy? From this year, I, well, I only had four, so. <laughs> but, oh, you got. I had, twi I had twice a Heineken one. Mm. Look, that one. But they're actually great to fill up. You can drink ah. from it. From yeah. uh, well, I guess then this one is all right, because th that was actually quite an emotional one because of so many retirements and then. I guess that's why, because of the emotion, it gets to you yeah. as a trophy. But and it was the last you know, Malaysian like, Grand Prix. Also. And it's yeah. super physical. I remember you saying... I was sick. I want sugar. Yeah, I was dead. I want sugar. I was dead. <laughs> I was so dead. <laughs> nah, it's, it's fine, that one. It's all good. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, what's been the best thing for you off track this year and why? What was the, the coolest thing we did? Is there something from a memorable weekend? Well, I guess the caravans. I was literally pissing uh, myself. Yeah. I think that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Yours? The caravan was awesome. I, I really enjoyed the ice hockey. I never played yeah. ice hockey, so that was that I was could really see that. fun. American football, that was yeah, cool. Yeah, you liked that one. Um, I was, I literally, like the guy was telling me like I had to move up and throw, and I was like, dude, I don't understand anything you're saying to me. I mean, I have never played this in my life. I don't know any rules. <laughs> Just throw the pigskin. Yeah, Just throw and it. run, run, keep running. <laughs> All righty. Most challenging track, oh wait, which is the most challenging and which is the easiest track for you? Most Hardest, challenging, uh, I think that's Monaco. In a qualifying lap, it's really challenging, I think. Yeah. To be on the, on the limit and get like one or two tenths out of that lap with front tires, which they don't really warm up that well, it's quite hard. The Hypersoft will be like, oh. Yeah, and then in the race, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least it qualifies, that's all we want. Yeah, Good qualifying no, that's tire. true. Easiest? Uh, do you think it really is a really easy track when you're on the limit? It's a good call. No. Not when, I think easy, I, I would probably say Barcelona, just because we've driven so many yeah, laps there. Yeah, it's a bit more like a robot kind of thing. Like you, just you can drive at 90% easily. Yeah. Um, like we can go out there and put in a good lap time without really thinking. But yeah, to put it on the limit, I completely agree. Yeah, I think then it's Nothing's never really easy. easy. Yeah. Um, what are your plans for the off season? What are you most looking forward to? Uh, I, I think I know that one. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, just going home. Uh, I always go home for Christmas to Australia and I'm most looking forward to, um, <laughs> this kind of, it's going to sound funny, getting away from people. 
um, just <laughs> like sure I'll be with I my don't friends. Like people. <laughs> yeah, like you get to a point in the year, and there's there's just so much you, you actually find you don't get a time to yourself. And uh, uh, when I so after Abu Dhabi, obviously it's the end of the season, long season. I finished the race early, and when I, I went back to my room uh, before the race had finished, and I just sat there. I literally sat in silence with the light off for probably 30 minutes, and I was just happy to be alone and just yeah away from kind of constant this so uh yeah i'm looking forward to just getting home getting away and um getting out of the city and just yeah being with few people just close friends yeah just have um, fun and not not feel obliged to talk we can just sit there in each other's comfort with a with a cold with the beer lights off and <laughs> for 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean we'll do fun things as well like uh for sure we'll ride bikes and and do some fishing and stuff but yeah just not not feel obliged to kind of can imagine. I guess start conversations or, or please people. Just well, you have a great country to go to. Then yeah, straight, it's far away. It's detached yeah. from from F one, which I think is awesome. And I think for that reason, I'll always keep going home for Christmas. Yeah, and it's warm, so I'm a summer boy. Um, that was a good question. I, I kind of want to ask you that as well. Um, you can. Yeah, let's. I've just you been can if you want clear. to. I can ask Max the same question. So, Maximus Decimus. Meridius, uh, what are you going to do? And what are you looking forward to most uh, in December? Yeah, just like have two or three weeks off. Like just not anything to do with... Well, not setting an alarm. Not Exactly, just sleep. Uh, just do your own thing. Try not to think about too much of racing and commitments you have to go to. And uh, yeah, just enjoy. What do, you, what do you do like in the winter, I guess? Like, well, I mean, ski, uh, you, yeah, a bit of skiing. Escape? Bit of skiing. Okay. Um, just spend time with friends. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably go to Austria and um, then go back to Monaco for New Year's, I guess. And uh, okay. then maybe again some time with friends to go skiing in the cold. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about going somewhere warm, but then it was a bit complicated with all my mates to organize it at the same day. So I said, well, you know what, just stay at home. What's, I guess, what's close to Europe, like that's maybe the Caribbean? Is that? Yeah, but that's going? already like seven, go? eight hours, isn't it? Okay. Eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's the worst thing about being Daniel Ricciardo? Worst thing about being Daniel Ricciardo? Um, it's only positive. <laughs> no, I, I will... The only thing I will say is that... And I, I, I'm not... Look, there's 100%... No, let's say 99% more good things that come out of this than not. But let's say the 1% of my personality, like because I'm pretty easy going I'm happy I'm fun it makes pe sometimes I feel people take advantage of that and it's like ah Daniel he'll do it he's the nice guy let's do this or oh, Dan come over here or do so that actually pe people can try and take advantage of so that's the only thing which being nice has its downsides um, so I, I sometimes notice that where yeah a little bit and it, that kind of upsets me but uh, it's a very very small percentage so yeah, yeah. It's good. I've never been asked that question so that's it is uh, yeah Compliments to the chef for the question. Um, Your the same. All right. Uh, whatever the question was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's the worst thing about being Max? The, 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 stop, 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 stop. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, on why? on why? Per, 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 that reminded me. Double, double letters, double P. I saw a fact. Yeah. Every driver that's won in Red Bull has double letters Vettel, in their surname. Weber, Ricciardo, Verstappen. Yeah. Are those the only ones who won? Right. In Red Bull, I guess so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah. whoever ends up taking over a Red Bull seat one day, if you don't have double letters in your name... Yeah, it's anyway not going to You are g -g gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go for it. All right. Worst uh, thing. Yeah, for me, I think it's just... Uh, you can't... Re like, when you are back at your family's place and you want to just go out for, like, lunch or whatever, just walk around in the city. For me, in, in Holland, that's a bit of a pain. The people are nice to you, but still, you know, they, they ask for pictures and stuff and they follow you and... Camera phones, yeah. I, I, I think, will be the death of us because you don't feel like you can have complete privacy, I guess. Yeah. Like, even at a restaurant, you, can, you see, like, sometimes corner of the eye, like people cheeky, filming or... Yeah. It's just... It, so, uh, for me, that's a bit the worst thing. It's, it's not very painful, but still, you know, when you're at your family's home, it's like, I prefer to just eat, like, here at home instead of going out yeah. for dinner. Because you always get a bit disturbed, I would say. Yeah. yeah. 
So that's that's a bit painful, but then all the other sides of it, I think, is is pretty positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear you. Alrighty, um, who would you say has had the worst luck this year? <laughs> I think both of us. Maybe. Well, well I, I, <laughs> it's literally cut in half. I yes. Guess. yes. First six months, you. Second six months, I guess me. Yeah. Yeah, it's been 13 retirements, so I guess it's 7-6, right? You had 7? Yeah. I had 6, yeah. yeah. I, would have actually, I would have only had 5, actually. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I was like, what do you mean? Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I would have only had 5. I would have only had... Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I, I, oh, my God. <laughs> Next question. Alright, let's go. So, let's talk about Hungary. Ah! <laughs> yeah. That just came in. That came yeah. in perfectly. How easy was it to move past that moment? <laughs> um, I think all right. A lot of things made it easier because the fact that I kind of said it as well. Like the fact that you came up and apologized to me and did it. You know, we we spoke privately. I think that was really important for both of us. Not through the media. Yeah, not through media. Not through someone saying uh, you should go apologize or like me coming up to you like what the f happened um so i think that you went about it the right way which made it easier to move on and at the end of the day people make mistakes and uh for sure it was frustrating for me but at the end of the day it, it happens um but also i think the then again to move on was easy because 24 hours later i was on holiday um and i was with family and stuff so that was, you know, easy to kind of forget about it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think we went about it the right way. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looking back on the whole season, what was your best moment and why? Well, I guess Malaysia. After, uh, yeah, such bad races, like re retirements and even like Singapore, you know, it was all looking great. And then Singapore. again. Singapore. Oh. <laughs> Singapore. Singapore sandwich. <laughs> I mean, it was, again, such a painful race, you know, to retire straight away. Well, you knew Singapore that, you know, it could have been great. So then once you, you move to Malaysia and then win the race eventually, that was for me, I think, the best moment of, of the year. Just emotionally. Yeah. yeah. And when you say Singapore sandwich, obviously it was an Italian and sandwich. It was a lovely, lovely sandwich. The Ferrari. What was, the, what was in the sandwich thing that was for Mozzarella. Italy? Mozzarella. Tomato. Tomato, um, or how would you say it in Italian? Pom pomodoro. Pomodoro, yeah. Pomodoro. It was a bit of pomodoro in there. Um, basil. Basil, yeah. Yes. Um, aceto balsamico. Yes. Mm, balsamic was on top vinegar. Of, like yeah, just. And yeah. Um, there had to have been an ingredient in there which wasn't nice though, because obviously it wasn't a good sandwich. Yes, the day. I, I, th I think it was just um, the the German cheese. Yeah. I don't know, it didn't taste well. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um. uh, all right, next one. What about you annoys other people the most? I fart sometimes. I don't, it's not annoying. <laughs> I think it's just good competition. <laughs> um, is it onion? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that onion? Is that? <laughs> um, what annoys, I don't know. Uh, sometimes my bowels, I guess. Uh, otherwise... I think it's maybe your stomach. Yeah, I, look, I think the fact also, sometimes I, I don't even need a shower, don't need to comb my hair, and I'm still a 9 out of 10. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's not easy for people to take. Yeah, um, no, I'm just jealous. Devilishly good looks, you know? I, I don't make the rules, you know? I really don't, so yeah. that's just... You're born like that. I mean, yeah. Sue guys, me. No. <laughs> I mean, uh. gosh. <laughs> All righty. Um, I think, yeah, it's the same for me. Yeah. The question. Um, but I don't. What, how do? How should I know? Oh, uh, the, the question. No, no, no. Like, how should I know what annoys people the most about me? Because I think you should ask those people. Yeah. Because um, I think it's actually pretty, pretty easy going with me. Yeah. I I'm really bad in birthdays. Remembering birthdays. Yeah, yes. I think you get to an age though. I guess you're still young, but you get to an age where it's like. You don't expect messages anymore or like, oh man, happy birthday. Like, we're old enough. Like, it's nice when people say it, but whatever. I mean, it's great, but you don't expect it. 
whatever. <clears throat> Actually, wait. I don't know if I remember. You. Are you October or September? September. September the 29th. 30th. 30th. Oh, oh I was God. close. Oh, my God. Do you know what I am? July. Third. Third. Second. No, that's Vettel. Vettel's the third. You're close. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Oh, wait. I was the seven or the eight. No? Mm. Lower. No. Then it's fifth or sixth. Lower. S what? Here's one for the you. First. How low can you go? First. How low first. can you go? I was, yeah. I was there. That what do you mean like, you were there? That was, uh, you were at Centre Pay, right? Oh, yeah, it was my yeah. birthday. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we were in Saint-Tropez on my birthday. That's right. It was such a calm night. Uh, it, was <laughs> calm. it was pretty calm. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Um, I don't want to think about it anymore. Uh, all right, this is going to take a drip, trip down RB13 <laughs> drip. lane. <laughs> yeah. it's good. We're going to take a trip down RB13 lane. What was your worst moment from the season? You've got to ask me as well after. Baku. <laughs> Baku. <laughs> My best, your worst. <laughs> Makes sense. Well done, Baku. Yeah, yeah. All well right. done. It was simply spiffing, Baku. So that was your worst? I think so. All right. Yeah. Because the amount of problems I had the whole week, the weekend, like with the engine and then free practice again, the final one got stopped, then in qualifying got a problem again, and in the race, like the Did whole... Did you have a problem in quali? Yeah, like going to the limiter, ah, and yeah? then, yeah. Okay. I had to I, tune it down. Okay. I had a problem in quali as well. The, yeah, the, wall, the, the wheel, the wheel. The wall the wheel came, came out at me. Yeah, the, the wall moved. It's hard. I had that problem in, in Monaco in 2016. Yeah. A few walls moved, a I few, think, <laughs> that weekend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. How do you think you've changed this year? Um, so, yeah, I've definitely grown as a person just because I think of the challenging moments this year. And then it's always how well can you handle that? And I think, of course, sometimes it could have been a bit better. But in general, I think it's, it's been all right. And we came back in, in a good way, let's say, like positive way. So, yeah, it's been a, a challenging year, but it made me grow as a person. Okay. It's been emotional. Nice. What's been the worst moment for you this season? Uh, worst moment of the year. All right, I'll just pick one. Probably Australia, because yeah. it's you know preseason is there's such a long build up. You know you train your ass off for whatever six straight weeks, then you test. It's a shame. It's hard to really enjoy that weekend um, because it's just so busy. But yeah, when I finally got in the car, I remember actually first practice was pretty good. I think we were third yeah, and fourth or something. Yeah, second or something. Yeah. So like maybe we're we're all right, and then crashed in qualifying and then didn't start the race and then had a problem. It was just yeah, yeah, no, a nightmare. I, I won't relive it, but uh, unfortunately, Australia was the worst one. We both had a bit of bad luck this year on the home Grand Prix, wasn't it? Or like kind of, for me, kind yeah, of home Grand Prix. Belgium. Yeah. Yeah, you, you were stopped, yeah. after like 10 laps or something? Eight, I think it was. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, that was not great. All right. Yeah. Um, we got to ask this question to each other. I'll start. These are always weird. I'll ask it. What sort of teammate have I been this year? Anything different from last year? Um, no, I don't think different. I think uh, we even like got a better relationship or like just had even more fun, I guess, together. I think in general, on track, of course, you always try to beat each other, but like off track, we were always very open about everything and what, what had to do with the car. And um, yeah, just a very good relationship, which I think is very unusual compared to a lot of other teammates in, in the paddock, but I like it, it's good. Yeah, I think Lewis, I remember said, after a race once, we were joking was around. Was it Malaysia or something, or like uh, Japan? Japan? Japan, it was. And he's like, I, how do you guys get on so well? Like, I've never seen this, and um, yeah, it's, I think it's, um, I think we just acknowledge that we're obviously both super competitive, but I think we both have the respect for each other, and that kind of creates a, a good balance. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I really believe that if we were like this, like always going against each other in a negative way, I, I don't believe the car would have improved like it did this year. No, because you, know you tried to at least hi or like hide stuff or try to just do a different setup, but then the team gets unsettled as well. Yeah, so I think they, I'm sure they, they understand and respect that. So that's cool. 
So same question for you, Daniel. Um, what teammate has Max been this year? Um, I would say more calm than last year as far as like the on-track stuff. I, I feel like last year a lot of people were trying to like scrutinize you a lot. Like, uh, he's moving, br breaking, this and that. It seemed like you were a bit more under the heat. But uh, this year, um, I think the only time really you were having some heat was in Budapest with me. But yeah. otherwise, I think it, was, pretty, it was pretty yeah. clean. So Most of the I think times you, you also, matured. it was only like, oh, I was finishing the race, or you were yeah. Like, we never really had like a proper... Many, uh, many times. Japan and uh, Malaysia, I think that was it. And, and China. Ah, third and fourth. But yeah. the rest of the year? There wasn't much. So, uh, yeah. but yeah, I think you, you matured a lot and uh, what else? Yeah, your Saturdays, your Saturdays were better this year. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, it's the first Damn. time, right? First time, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Max out qualified me, I think for the first time since I started F1, so. But it's still a good record. Yeah, it's all right. Of all What's, How many races next year? 21. Yeah. All right. 21 and zero is a bit much. We'll, we'll try it. <laughs> All right. Um, you won in Malaysia in a straight, straight out fight with Lewis. How did that feel? Pretty good, I guess. It's not uh, Would you do anything different? Not a hot nibble? Mm. No. You could cut a bit of glass with that. <laughs> <laughs> how, it, how it felt, uh, it was good. But to be honest, I don't really care against who I'm fighting as long as for the for the win. Yeah. So... It was alright, you know. It's nothing. It had nothing, like a, not a special feeling for me or something. Mm -hmm. When you pass for the lead, it's. I think it doesn't matter who it is. Huh? No, you're like, okay, good. Yeah, I'm leading. I hear you. All right, Daniel. If you were singing in the shower, what song would you sing? Um, I would probably go with one I like to sing is "Wagon Wheel" by Old Crow Medicine Show. It's like a, a bit country, and I feel you don't really need a good voice to make it work. So you don't need to go high. Not really. Um, I mean, I can sample it for you if you want. Probably not in the shower. No, no, no. Maybe now. Do you want me to, would you like me to sing a little bit? The crowd, oh, what's that from the crowd? Go Daniel, go, yes. Crowd's chanting. Yes. Heading down south to the land of the pine. Thumbing my way into North Carolina. Staring up the road, pretty God I see headlights. I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Max Verstappen was waiting with a bunch of flowers. <laughs> and I was hoping for Max that he would ask me out tonight. <laughs> touching. It's really touching. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Cold Medicine Show, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. Some, some said I'm the songbird of our generation. Um, others describe me as the voice of a turtle dove. <laughs> um, which one would you choose? <laughs> Turtle Dub. What was your favourite race of the season? Spa. What was your favourite destination of the year? Melbourne. Cool. What was your favourite overtaking move of the year? Austin on Kimi, I guess. Yeah. Biggest disappointment? Baku. Well done, Baku. Well done, well done. Favorite race activation of the year? I, I think this activation, the ice hockey in, during the race. Yeah, yeah. in Austria. Yeah. What was the biggest shock for you this season? The retirements. Best meal you had all year? Austin, a steak, yeah. Ah, the place is um, Paris. Paris, yeah. yeah. Describe your season in one word. Challenging. Describe my season in one word. Challenging. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> What's your favorite smell? Fuel smell. All right. I quite like that. It smells like a racetrack. Yeah. I get you. Have you ever seen a ghost? No. Nope. What scares you? Spiders, <laughs> snakes, and sharks. All right. What was your favorite race of the season? Well done, Baku. What was your favorite destination of the year? 
Austin. What was your favorite overtaking move of the year? Well done, Baku. Yeah, that was a good one, the two. <laughs> Biggest disappointment? Australia. Favorite race activation of the year? American football in Austin. Mm. What was the biggest shock for you this season? Five podiums in a row after such a slow start to the year. Yeah. yeah. Best, me uh, best meal you had all year? Best meal, yeah, probably uh, ooh, Monza, my favorite pizzeria in the world, mm -hmm. and Austin, just the mm -hmm. meat fest, the brisket. Oh. It is really good. Oh, Lord, baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Describe your season in one word. Roller coaster. Describe my season in one word. Roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite smell? Don't say fart. Certainly not me. Uh, ooh, vanilla. Really? Yeah. Have you ever seen a ghost? Nine. No. Not yep. even when you woke up. <laughs> <laughs> no. No ghosts. What scares you? Snakes and sharks. Yeah, it's... What, el what else scares me? Um, mm. So you're okay with the giant, like the spider? Spiders, I'm okay. Yeah? Because they're not that fast. Like sharks are quicker than you in water. Have you ever seen them jumping? And snakes are faster. Uh, when you try to threaten them in the corner. Yeah, they're okay. Spiders are okay, I think. But yeah, they scare me. As far as like life things, what scares me? Um, sharks, I think is the biggest. Underachieving. In life, you mean? Oh, uh, just probably in the sport, like. But yeah, I you never say, know. I wouldn't say it scares me. You, you never know what you're gonna do next year. You're like, am I gonna be fast? Am I not? Is it like, <laughs> you, well, I mean, True. you're confident, but you're always a bit like, well, is the car gonna suit me, or is, is this, is it gonna work out? I think. Yeah. Well, it's not Completely scary, disagree. but you. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Snakes and sharks. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. <laughs> We're out. <laughs>